What's up? Hope you're doing well this morning. I'm excited to be done with this new Learn With Zach site. Finally get into the groove with getting good content out again. I've got uh, got my first stand-up comedy show tonight, so that's pretty cool. Things are good. Hope things are good with you. First thing we're going to do today is open up Photoshop, because we're going to be learning about custom shapes. So to give you a quick little overview of what custom shapes do, when I'm in Photoshop, I can click over here. Right now it shows the rectangle tool, but basically it's these uh, shape drawing tools. And we see at the bottom there's custom shape tool. And with that, you can then load any shape. Photoshop comes with some presets, which are all these ones for the most part. This one's not. Um, but a lot of these are presets, and generally they don't look that great. Um, I was trying to see what this one was because I downloaded it, but it comes with like one called Web, for example, and most of these are icons that I would imagine seeing on the web like 10 years ago. <laughs> but basically, the way custom shapes work is that if someone were to draw something with the pen tool, which we learned about in a recent tutorial video, uh, you can then commit it to being a custom shape so that all you have to do later is just load it up and draw it. And it looks awesome because you already prepared it and it's a vector so you can blow it up to be whatever size in the whole world you want. Um, so that's what I'm going to teach you today. So the first thing that you need to do if you want to use custom shapes is find a custom shape set that you want. And don't mind me while I play around with this. Uh, but there are a few places you can go to do this. You can look on somewhere like Graphic River, which is created by the people who created Theme Forest, and is used for purchasing lots of different like ve uh, vector graphic assets and stuff. Uh, you can also just look on Google. So what I have pulled up is Web Design Custom Shapes Photoshop. So my hope is that it'll bring up some good stuff. You see I've previewed some of these before. Uh, for the most part, there are lots of custom shapes that aren't really that cool or useful. And I know that when I first learned about custom shapes, I kind of went ape shit about it and used custom shapes all over the place when it didn't even make sense. So I know it'll be tempting to do that, but uh, probably try not to because it'll just clutter up your designs. But the biggest thing that you want to look for when you're looking for custom shapes, once you find the ones you want, hey, there we go, that's cool, Angry Bird Shapes, um, you want to just make sure that you're downloading them in the CSH format, which is uh, the custom shape set for Photoshop. So this is an ad, so we're not going to click that. Let's look for the actual download button. Here we go. And we see that it is a CSH file, so I'm going to download that. and. Apparently not going to work. Probably just downloaded a virus or something. Let's try it again. Uh, let's see what happens if I save it. Because it might just be being weird. Yeah, I think it was just being weird that it let me view it. And then let's download these Angry Bird shapes. Cool. So I got these both downloaded. We see them down here in my downloads window. I like to go show in folder. And. Um, the best way to do this is not to double click it, but it, instead to put it into your Photoshop presets folder. If you just double click it, it'll load it in Photoshop right now, but it won't save it as a preset. And as far as presets go, when I'm on my custom shape tool, and I click like the little drop down up here, click the settings thing, everything that's in this list is a preset. So if you don't have it as a preset, that means that every time you want to use the shapes, you have to go into your downloads folder, find the file, and double click it, which isn't very fun. So there are two ways you can find the folder. One of them is navigating directly to it, which I'll show you in a second. The easier way is to click load shapes, and it'll take you straight to the download folder. So right now we're in our custom shapes folder, and here's what I like to do. I go up one level, so we see custom shapes here. Then I right click it and I go open in new window. And this will just open it up in Windows Explorer. And then you can just copy from your downloads folder, paste it right here. And then next time you load up Photoshop, it'll be in your list. And it might even be in your list right now. Method number two. If you go to my computer and go to the C drive or whatever yours is, go to whichever program files holds all your Adobe stuff. Then go to the Adobe folder. Let me maximize this. 
then go to Photoshop, and then go to Presets, and then go to Custom Shapes, you can just paste it right on in here. So, as you can see, it's not that hard to get to, and then once you paste it, it'll just show up in your list. So once it does show up in your list, all you have to do is uh, navigate through, find the shape you want. I have all these cool arrows that I use for like my sales pages and stuff. Um, and so you can just click an arrow, or whatever your shape is, draw it, and then it works like anything else. You can double click the part to the left of it to adjust the color, and you can like right click on it and uh, try to find an easy way to do it here. I'm just going to show you. Okay, so here's how you actually do it. I was trying to find if there was an easy right click way to do it. If you just double click on like the far right side of the layer, it'll pull up all these layer styles. And so, uh, a quick little shortcut. See how it has these outlines around it that kind of make it so I can't really tell what it looks like? If you hit Control H on your keyboard, it'll get rid of those. H as in happy. Uh, so yeah, we can add all these cool layer styles. Like I could add a white drop shadow to it if I wanted to, to make it kind of pop from this other one. Or something like that, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but um, what I'm getting at is you can do a lot of stuff. I could do gradient overlay. And, uh, you know, really any custom style. We're going to get into those in another one. I shouldn't be all ADD about this. Uh, but yeah, that's how custom shapes work. They're very helpful um, because you can really streamline your whole design process. I'll show you in a different video how to actually commit your custom shapes that you've drawn with a pen tool to custom like shape sets. Uh, but for now, you know how to use existing ones. So get in touch if you have questions. Be sure to check out learnwithzack.com. I'm currently running a special where for the first month, it's only five bucks, and that gets you access to all of my training. It'll get you access to my Photoshop training once I finish with it. It's in the works right now. Uh, HTML, CSS, working with your web design plans, artist ear, uh, really everything I ever create is inside one of those apps. So it's very well worth checking out, and I'd uh, love it if you did and gave me some feedback. So thank you so much, and I uh, hope you have a great day. See ya.